everybody! Welcome back! Um, we're going to be doing some problems with the reciprocal rule, which is a basic um, derivative rule. Uh, it's a rule that helps you um, take derivatives um, like product rule, quotient rule, etc. So we're going to do a couple problems. The first one that we're going to do is f of x equals 1 over 1 minus 2 over x. Um, and the quotient rule, or sorry, the uh, reciprocal rule, we'll just um, write it out over here. Um, the rule, for those of you who don't necessarily have it in front of you, um, f Just want to make sure we got it right here. Um, so basically, all the rule says is that if um, you are taking the derivative of a function that has one in the numerator and anything f of x in the denominator, that the result is going to be um, in the following form: the derivative of the function on the top, the function squared on the bottom with the negative sign in the front. So it's kind of um, a shortcut way if you run across something, you're asked to take the derivative of a function like this, you see one on the top and um, a function here on the bottom, it's a shorthand way to be able to take the derivative um, using this rule instead of um, conventionally. So um, we're going to go ahead and apply this rule to this function. So we'll say f prime, the derivative of um, x, is going to be, and we'll follow the rule, so we always need the negative sign here, so I'm going to go ahead and write that, negative, and then we need the derivative of the function on the top, so we need to take the derivative of this right here. So um, we'll do this term by term, um, the 1 first and then the 2 over x, so the derivative of 1 is 0 because 1 is a constant, and then um, the derivative of 2 over x we can actually change this um, to be 2, let's, um, let's do it down here, 2 over x. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the x um, to the top, and the way that I'm going to do that, um, I'll say negative 2x to the negative 1. Um, this x has an implied 1 as an exponent on it. I move it to the numerator by changing the um, sign from a positive to a negative uh, on the exponent, so it, the sign changes to a negative one when we move it to the top. So the derivative of this guy, um, the way that we do that is multiply the exponent by the, the coefficient, so negative one times negative two is simply two, um, so we're going to say two and then uh, x, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent always. So negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So I'm going to have um, negative 2x to the negative 2, and that is the derivative of um, this function right here. So we've taken now um, the derivative, and we, we've completed the, the numerator over here in the rule, so now all we need to do is um, deal with the denominator, and I'm just going to erase this so I have space. Um, deal with the denominator, so it's just simply the function squared. So we're going to go ahead and write 1 minus 2 over x, and of course we have to square it. Um, and that's, uh, that could be your final answer. The only thing that um, I want to go ahead and do is... Um, is get rid of this negative exponent because you don't usually like to have negative exponents in your answer. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the derivative is negative um, 2 over x squared over, and, and what I did, remember before, we moved the, um, the x from the denominator to the numerator and we flipped the sign on the exponent. This time we're going to move it from the numerator to the denominator um, of the top part here and flip the sign from a negative to a positive. So we can move it in either direction as long as we flip this from a positive to a neg negative, just change it. So we have that and then um, leave the bottom the same, 1 minus 2 over x squared. 
And that's our final answer.